Hello and welcome to Cliff Reviews Art House. This time I'm reviewing the film Enter the Dragon, directed by Robert Klaus. So it's the 50th anniversary of Enter the Dragon and Warner Brothers have released a 4K restoration of the film. This is primarily as a Blu-ray release, but in a very limited way it's being screened at some cinemas in the UK and I was determined to see it on the big screen. Now, I was a boy when this came out in 1973-74, so I certainly wasn't able to see it. But it was such a phenomenon at the time, at least it was in my school. We played Kung Fu a lot, complete with childish versions of the moves and definitely all of the sound effects. As Carl Douglas said, everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Now, I've started off by describing this because I wanted to communicate how special it was to see it on the big screen. I'd never actually seen it before, so it felt like this was a unique opportunity to see it, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Right from the beginning, the music is just fantastic. Funky 70s bass and wah-wah guitar. Because I've lived through that era, I just found it so nostalgic. But I do think that the music completely stands up today. So this was a really good start. I was instantly hooked by the amazing music. Although there is a lot of stereotyping going on in this film, the aesthetic of the film is so iconic. The kung fu with the choreography and the sound effects, the whole black exploitation thing, the 1970s TV series vibe, all of these things make the film a lot of fun. The 4K doesn't make the image perfect. There's a bit of granularity in it, a bit like film, and I did notice this at first, but of course it was never going to look like Oppenheimer at the IMAX. I would say that it looks good. The reds and yellows really pop, and Bruce Lee's face is fantastic. His facial expressions evoke so much. His face is so iconic, of course, so I think this helps. In terms of the choreography, it still looked pretty good today. The speed of the fighting is impressive, and it does have an authentic feel to it. At the same time, it's completely theatrical and over the top, with the exaggerated sound effects. I really liked it. So what about the story? I think overall the story works. It definitely borrows something from James Bond, the cat-loving baddie and the underground base. To be honest, I don't think the story is gripping. It works a bit more like a TV series than a film that you get very involved with. But this seems fine as there's just so much else to enjoy about this film. Is there an issue with the stereotyping? Well, I think it definitely uses extreme racial stereotypes, both in relation to the Chinese Kung Fu fighters and Williams, the black character. But overall, I think it works really well. The stereotypes do have major roles and they do have agency. Perhaps there's more of a problem in terms of gender. Many of the women in the film are prostitutes and have no real role in the story beyond their role in providing sex for the men. This is typified with the scene where the men choose which women they'll sleep with. Whilst it's entertaining and plays in a fun way with the stereotyping, I don't think this can be presented any other way than being pure sexism. Overall, Enter the Dragon definitely doesn't have the polish of John Wick. It's hard for me to judge, but maybe it's not for a modern audience. Even if this is the case, it's so iconic and influential and I think it's this that alone makes it a must-see. For me, the aesthetic of it makes it so stylish and cool. It just works. And if, like me, you have the nostalgia around this genre, it's a definite recommendation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.